Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Meta Mike, man. Today we do have a similar video to the past videos. It is a meta players in each position video. However, this is the top five. So I do obviously have the most meta players in each position. Now I have the top five. Basically, cutting all past the nonsense and getting down to business so it is the top five best players in each position now please hit that like and subscribe can we get 50 likes right there appreciate everyone for the support are you that guy that's absolutely livid for people having insane unbeatable teams are you just itching to try and get the best fifa 23 experience now with most reliable coins use mmo exp it is a fast quick process get the most reliable fifa 23 fud coins by using code meta you can save yourself five percent link is at the top of my description MMO EXP that is. I mean, I know you guys want this dynamic image, David, right there, man. Bruh. Come on. 720k, do check out MMO EXP indeed. Thank you so much to my guy Zinray or Z I think that's how you pronounce it. He was Perfect. the first person to comment. If you want to get featured, all you gotta do is comment first. Be the first to comment, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna get right into it. We're gonna start off with the goalkeepers. And yeah, now if you don't know how the series works, it's just me expanding on the best players in each position we've got goalkeepers obviously the fullbacks center backs cdm cms cams and obviously the wingers and strikers now ladies and gentlemen goalkeepers by the way please do check the discord out it is in my comments so the link in comments join the discord we are 40 members right there so we are growing right there we are moving at a rapid rate please do hit that uh hit that uh comment right there section and yeah we we, we have fun on the discord you know what i mean you guys are so if you need help the lads are there i'm there to so assist you as well you know for teams etc but yeah goalkeepers ladies and gentlemen top five we got edison couture allison your standard goalkeepers you know they're always going to be meta uh you got the likes of this edison a lot of people did not know but he's very good man he's still so so good every time i play him in champs i don't know if you guys have played him every single time no matter how much times i verse him he's just insane and yeah evidently bro i don't know how he's six foot two because every time I play this man, he seems like he's six foot seven in goals. Do you know what I mean? But uh, by the way, while we are doing this series, uh, I do have obviously top five best players um, in each position. I have one, however, kind of like a uh, how how can I call this a a card that is best valued. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't really matter about price, etc. It's just a very very good card for the coins, uh, a bang for the buck, and it is to stay in this time now. This could be subjective. I have versed him, I've used him, and I really, really enjoyed him. Uh, obviously, he's six foot two, not the best in terms of height, but a very, very nice, vital goalkeeper, in my opinion, in terms of reflexes, diving, handling. His kicking is amazing. In my opinion, for 60k, it's kind of a good card, man. I think he actually went a bit up in price because of the new um, SPC that came out. So, yeah, in my opinion, not a bad card at all, right? Then we do have some uh, very, very nice selection of goalkeepers. Who's your favorite goalkeeper? But uh, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to add me in the comments. Let's just have a civilized debate, man, because, yeah, goalkeepers are just very weird. If it works, it works. Do you know what I mean? And so, the best camp style for them is probably glove, in my opinion. I just always use a glove or basic, do you know what I mean, to boost all the stats. But uh, we are jumping over to center backs now. This could be controversial, but there is no team of the year, uh, Maldini. I don't think he's in top five, boys. I don't think Maldini... Um, what is it? Was it his fat birthday icon? I don't think he's top five, bro. I'll be honest. With all these um, team of the season cards that came out recently, they are absolutely insane. And I still do think Van Dyke is up there. In my opinion, Van Dyke's better than uh, that um, Maldini. I do see more pros use or are bound to use that Van Dyke over Maldini. So it's hence why I added him. And I do think Maldini is good. Don't get me wrong. Top 10 for sure. But if I look at these other center backs, like you've got to know why they are. Got the likes of the left, insane center back. Price as well justifies it right there, man. Four star weak foot, very nice for passing. Face split, not the best. Unique body type will move amazing in game. Add a shadow on him, and you do have a insane center back. So if you have him in reds, tell me, man, he is amazing. I know he is. Adam Tower as well, very, very nice. He's just always going to be good. Um, but yeah, we got the likes of Kunde as well. Um, I did add him in top five because this man, I must say, is. One of the most irritating center backs to verse. This weekend league, he has absolutely destroyed me. Oh my days, I versed one guy three times this weekend league. I bottled like rank two because I versed him. And every time I played this guy, he had that Kunde, bro. Oh my days, he was so good. And obviously the best valued one. Now, the best value doesn't always mean necessarily mean cheap. It does, however, mean very good bang for the buck. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Kim Pembe. Best center back in the game, hands down, for the price. I think he's top five as well. It's just I did not know where to situate 
this type of card anywhere there so for me i had to add him though boys do you know how insane is kimpembe personal kimpembe i versed him in the league one cup in the um weekend league and you're gonna see a lot of him man just just know that because he's not actually that expensive it's a few rated team so if you have fodder by all means get him in your team i know a lot of you rats are gonna do him myself included maybe if i finish dino you know i never know man you never know but i need that fodder for dino bro he's so much squads ladies and gentlemen bro but uh, yeah would you move over to the fullbacks do tell me who's your favorite fullbacks uh fullbacks is kind of uh there was not that many fullbacks i'd say that are top five um uh, i just chose the best ones in my personal opinion now are they meta yes every one of them are meta but i don't think some of them are good valued man like i will look at the likes of hernandez 700k just because they team of the years it doesn't necessarily mean they the best fullbacks i feel like even the likes of a Lorente can do better than Hakimi, bro. I've seen a lot of pros use the likes of that Lorente at right back over that Hakimi. Do you know what I mean? Maybe he has more physical. Uh, maybe it's just his body type in game. You know, it plays a lot of roles right there. A lot of aspects come down to who is meta and who is better, etc. So it's body type. Um, it's skill moves, weak foot, you know, obviously to transition to uh, obviously flank. Because that's what you need fullbacks for sometimes. Uh, it's obviously defending and overall stamina. That comes into play with fullbacks. Even just generally cards speaking like in terms of any um, position. But yeah, we got the likes of some very, very nice. I'd say not cheap, but very nice fullbacks. And I, I did actually add Klaus in there. I can't lie. Could he be the uh, better, um, sorry, the meta value in terms of him being a good value right back? Because I think Kapita could potentially be better than him uh, in game i don't know man it just depends but they are for a reason do you know what i mean it doesn't matter they're all inclusively here so they are amazing we've got the likes of alex balde very very nice value 131k and i added him there in the value i know i said i was only going to add one for each position i've added two for the right backs because i needed to add my guy emerson i've just always included him in the in the team and for 25k if you are new to ultimate team and you're starting out and you have like a prem team bro Go Emerson. Just look how good he is, boys. Five star skill moves. I still struggle to against this card. More so even against... I struggle against Emerson than Kafu or Klaus, bro. You know what I mean? But it's crazy right there. That's just the game. The game's the game. we got Davies, obviously, the full uh, fullbacks. The, these cards are good. Trust me on that. But yeah. Move on to the favorite category. That is probably the most vital role in your team. No matter what position you're playing, bro you need these players in your team now obviously these players are expensive and it's hence why i added some of the cheaper ones at the bottom right there so i added cheap to medium range and medium to expensive range because i felt like obviously um i said in the start i'm only going to add top five and then respectively uh add at least a best uh, valued one but for, for, for midfielders it's difficult man i had to include all of these cards i'm actually missing some cards like tots to rum which I've actually added in the last team of, um, I think it was top five video. So if you want to check that out, check it out. But I think these are the best relevant ones right now because we are in League One. So I added these cards. I mean, you got Renato Sanchez, speaking of League One. Bros, four star, four star, high, high. Now he has average body type. If he had high and average, this man is probably going to be better than Rude Hullet, better than the likes of Vieira. Um, and it just happens uh, to be five foot nine as well. So in terms of from a box to box CM, this card is amazing in game, man. Trust me. I don't even I haven't used him, I haven't versed him because he's so expensive. But I do know he's gonna be amazing. I mean three mil, bro. Come on, man. Obviously, don't take price into account for anything, but three mil for a reason is why I'd say. But uh, yeah, man, move over to the cheaper ones. Casimiro for fun, a very nice Kimmich. I'd say it's medium valued. Same thing with Verratti, man. They're similar players, but I do think. I like this variety more because of the 5-star weak foot. If I'm not mistaken, I think Kimmich has 4-star, four 4-star. Four As you can see, I, I know my stuff, you know what I mean? But uh, we've got 400k right there, insane dribbling stats, unique body type as well. As my voice breaks, 5-star, five 5-star. Five I'm oh, sorry, sorry, 5-foot five 5, very short. But in terms of a nimble, nice transitional CM, he's going to be probably the best in the game. Probably similar to Modric, if that makes sense, which is not here uh yeah i don't think he's in the top 10 of midfielders personally speaking i feel like there's better valued ones but he's still good don't get me wrong modric is good but uh, yeah we got yaya Torre vieira your conventional meta players i mean i just had to add them because it's top five 
but um yeah you take it as you may who is top five i'd probably say if i were to make a list it's definitely Vieira, zidane rude hullet is in there i didn't add him because everybody knows his uh, meta uh we got the Tori probably in there as well in terms of cams kaka is up there man trust me musiala is up there insane insane cams but yeah these are just absolutely insane midfielders in generally uh in gen generally speaking cannot speak english but yeah we move over to the wingers now these are the best top five wingers left wings and right wingers in one go yeah five star skills five star weak foot either one of those will do insane pace everybody has insane pace very nice shriveling aspects that's what you need for wingers to flank cut inside pass to the opponent uh, sorry to the player in the box and you can have some fun man absolute sweaty sweaty cards but um yeah you guys already know don't really need to explain uh, and the best valued ones now i added aloe wiren as a right wing because he's so quick what i like about aloe wiren right he doesn't have he has pace that i've never seen before if you absolutely run it on the wing you're not even like the fullbacks that i mentioned like davies frimpong can catch up to aloe wiren that's how fast he is bro so for me i'd say 300k that's an absolute steal because he's very very meta man trust me he was like wasn't he like 1.5 more at the start when he came out insane man but yeah we got Mavadidi as the left wing though and i've mentioned it in my previous video this card is the best valued spc right now man four star four star insane stats his inform was so good man trust me get his card very cheap bro like literally spending if you do um obviously have 83s 84s get this card for free has uh it is a good super sub do you know what i mean but uh yeah we jump over to the very last category and it is the strikers slash cfs now these are the most important attackers in the team obviously five star skills five star weak foot yes and just overall insane aspects like boys come on man what more can i say about these cards ben Yedda, you got the likes of lacazette five star skills you got griezmann five star puskas right there five star weak foot insane cards we've got cheap cheaper i'd say not cheap they are medium of valued but they are insane value and i did add Lewandowski as a very nice valued striker due to the fact that this man's five star weak foot is amazing probably the best i've seen and used uh, i think i scored like 50 goals in like 30 games with him he was amazing for me an absolute menace right there and he did get me rank three so yeah trust me man and it was very sweaty i definitely think this type of card is amazing in anyone's team and a lot of pros actually started using these cards and especially if you can add or use a lanky player that he does have unique though what's that's what makes him amazing do you know what i mean but uh, yeah we got your conventional strikers right there don't really need to say much you say bill croif etc but yeah uh sanchez a very nice one as well 1.1 uh, mil so i know a lot of people got him from the rank 20 reward right there man it was him and rodrigo if i'm not mistaken right a lot of people uh packed him and i've seen a lot of sanchez's right there insane insane but uh, yeah that's mainly the strikers man tell me if i've left out a player that you guys used or a uh, cheaper um best valued player that you used and please uh, hit it in the comments right there i will check it out join the discord check out mmoexp i've been boy meta mike smash a like subscribe by the way new content coming soon i'm gonna try and incorporate more gameplay videos if i can at least Get my hands on some of the players you know what i mean because uh, there is a lot of player reviews needing to be done so yeah thank you so much boys i will catch you in the next one have a sweet one boys peace hey.